Well, hello everybody. Welcome back once again to JJ's PC Build. You know it is with you, JJ, once again. I had to turn that off real quick. But, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to turn your notifications on. Today, what we're doing is, we're going to talk about core parking, CPU core parking. Okay, now, there's a way you can do it if, let's say you got a, a 16 core processor and, you know, like a... 7950X 3D or 6950X 79 not 69 7950X or 7950X 3D you know or you got a 12 core processor and you got to deal with the Windows core parking and everything else well there's something that I don't know if it'll work for you some people it will work but you can uh, disable the core parking on Windows 11 and I'm on 23H2. I'm not on the 24H2 yet because Windows can't get their head out there, you know what, and um, send me the update. I guess my computer's not ready for the update yet. Everybody else is getting it, but except for me and Windows Update doesn't seem to want to happen. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the action screen. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the action screen. And we're going to take a look how we can do this. All right, we made it to the action screen. Let's go ahead and bring up your search. You'll have a little search window right here. There, I have put up a little search window. You want to type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And that's the registry. Okay, you can open it. And hit it. I, I run it as administrator. And then you just click yes and you're on the registry right here okay now what you can do to get where I'm gonna get you can take and you hit edit and click find easiest way to do this you type in D E C three five C three one eight five eight three and then hit find next and then it'll bring you to where you need to be okay so here we are right here it's going to be under this big number here, this one right here. It's going to be under that big number here, and it's going to be right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the value max. You want to double click it, and you want to change the value to zero. The value is set on 64, but if you set the value on zero, it should disable the core parking and you hit OK and then after you get done doing that then you restart your system so we'll highlight this and we'll copy it and what we'll do is we'll hit enter here enter and then hit control V and we'll paste it and we're gonna save it for you and I'll put this in the description below how I found it so this way you'll be able to find it we'll separate that a little bit so you can see it so that's what you're looking for right there now I'm not now with every op, computer operating system it could be the same number or it could be different numbers so not too not too sure on that but I did pull this up and I was able to disable mine I know running an eight eight core CPU you know you're not gonna need core parking you know disable core parking but if you're left in a bind to where you know you're not getting the full potential out of your CPU 
keep in mind, and this is going to be a little disclaimer. You do this, you do this at your own risk. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm just showing you what I found. So you take your own risk at this point. So I'm, I'll put it in the description. So that way you'll know where to go. And check it out. All you can do is run your test and see if it works. So we'll minimize this. We'll exit out of this. So, but from what I'm seeing right now, with my cores, this is what's happening. So, it doesn't look like they're parking any, so that's the good thing about all that. Just let you know. As you can pull up HW info and pull up your active clocks and see if, you know, you got ones that are just active and ones that are inactive. You know, you can always check on HW info. But as far as I see, the core parking is working just fine. Now, uh, the core parking disabled is disabled. So, that's done as far as I see. Now, as far as checking out games and everything else, you all have to do your own testing. I'm going to test it to see what's going to happen, to see if it's running good, bad, or ugly when it comes to Steam games. And if it's an improvement in the Steam games, I'll make sure I let you all know. But I can tell you right now, from what I'm seeing, the cores are more active than they were the last time I checked them. So, just do your research, do your homework, do your testing, and if it if it, this information works out for you, then, you know, best of luck with it. Is the, you know, I found this out maybe a couple days ago. I wanted to share it with y'all because I was looking into it. Because a lot of people were talking about getting a 16-core CPU and how to disable the core parking. And that's pretty much how you do it. As you can see, it's running good. And plus, remember too, I am recording this video on the same computer that I just disabled the core parking. So if there was ever a problem, I'm sure you would see it in the video, but obviously there's not. So back to the main screen. Final thought, <clears throat> core parking, it's not too bad. It seems to do pretty good. Um, is it going to be beneficial for a 16 core processor? Might be. But also to think about your cooling solution for your CPU. If your cooling solution can handle all the cores being active all the time, that's going to be one thing. I did gain three three degrees Celsius by activating this so do keep that in mind it might go up a little bit more with 16 cores so if I get three degrees you might get six degrees more Celsius added on top of your uh, idle but if it gives you better gaming then that's the plus guys look all I'm doing is I find information, I tell it, show you, I tell you about it, and if it works out for you, then I hope it does. You know. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. If this is your first time here, subscribe, hit the like button, and also, too, don't forget about the notification bell so you know when I post the next video. Until the next time in the next video, you know what it is, and we'll see you on the next one.